Thank you. We want to talk more about this and also questions about whether Tiger Woods got preferential treatment after his accident on Thanksgiving night. CBS News legal analyst Lisa Bloom is in Los Angeles this morning. Lisa, good morning. Good morning. I think the first thing we should stress, because I think people will jump to a lot of conclusions hearing this, is that this incident this morning is not necessarily related to the Tiger Woods saga that has been unfolding over the last couple of weeks. Well, Maggie, that's right. This family has certainly been under an extraordinary amount of stress as developments have unfolded over the last couple of weeks. But we just don't know if this is an unfortunate coincidence or whether this is related to that stress. Time will tell. But as you say, Maggie, on a related note, the legal case against Tiger Woods ended just four days after it began. But new documents have us wondering, is it really over? Take a look. Ten days after he crashed his Escalade outside his Orlando home, some are wondering if Tiger Woods got special treatment. A newly released document shows the responding state trooper asked for a subpoena to test Woods' blood results, but it was denied. It's hard to imagine that if Tiger Woods was Tom Woods instead of Tiger Woods, that he would not have been taken into jail. According to the affidavit, a witness, clearly his wife, reported he had consumed alcohol earlier in the day and was prescribed two medications, Ambien and Vicodin. The fact that Tiger Woods was not immediately investigated for driving under the influence of an alcoholic beverage or a drug seems to suggest that there was clearly some kind of preferential treatment here. Meanwhile, celebrity website Radar Online says Tiger's wife has moved out of their Orlando mansion as more embarrassing details come forward about his womanizing. Tiger obviously has had close to at least a dozen different mistresses, and I think we're going to find out that there's more. Tiger got off with a small fine and a driving citation, but the new revelations of drinking and prescription drugs could mean a bigger hit to his reputation. One reason this new information is so surprising, Maggie, is that the official word all along has been that there was no alcohol in Tiger Woods' system. This new document seems to contradict that, and the real answer is that he just wasn't tested. Would ordinary citizens have received the same level of police preference? Those are the new questions arising this morning. And they all beg the question about whether this case will be reopened now and whether this document encourages or forces investigators to do so. Absolutely, Maggie. I mean, I think ordinary citizens, given the same set of facts, erratic driving, hitting three separate locations in the neighborhood, according to neighbors, snoring on the ground after the accident, when most people would have an adrenaline rush, those people would have been tested, their medical records would have been subpoenaed to see whether this was a potential DUI. And of course, as you say, the investigation could be reopened based on this new evidence. And there were also reports that his wife had moved out of the mansion. If this couple, in fact, gets divorced, what about the issue of custody? Custody. There are two children here. They are American, but the wife is Swedish. Well, that's right, and I think she would have a slam dunk in terms of getting custody. She's been the primary caretaker of those kids. Tiger Woods' alleged extramarital behavior technically would not be a factor, but I think any judge would take that into account. She would get custody of those kids. She would be entitled to a very substantial amount of child support, notwithstanding any prenup. And she would be entitled to take those kids mm. to her place of residence, even if that was Sweden. Lisa Bloom in Los Angeles. Thank you so much, Lisa.